Who is the world's best center back? You undoubtedly have an idea. However, judging this part of the pitch is challenging. While some defenders might not be the best players around, but are shielded by their team's framework, others might be better than they appear and are just operating in a challenging setup. After analyzing the top options currently available, we have developed an order. 10. Ronald Araujo From the moment Ronald Araujo arrived at Barcelona, there was a vibe around him. Even though he was only in his teens, he already had a well-developed physique and was ready to shut down European strikers in the Barca defense. His incredible physique is in line with his skill on the ball, which is to be expected at that club. Araujo is largely descended from defenders his parents would have watched, even though there have been many lightweight defenders who have flourished in Catalonia. Shorter players like Javier Mascherano and Carles Puyol, for instance, also went on to become legends. He fights and intimidates. He is nonetheless just as smart as Cules would have hoped. That he can also play at right back and keep the likes of Vinicius Jr. quiet is proof of his raw materials too. 9. Virgil van Dijk Previously regarded as the world's top center back, Virgil van Dijk has failed to live up to the ludicrous expectations he has set over the previous years. But his abilities haven't faded, and Liverpool continues to depend on the Dutchman for participation in some of the biggest matches in the world of football. When he moved from Southampton to Liverpool in 2018, Van Dijk turned the team into an unstoppable force, and his quickness, intelligence, and defensive leadership haven't diminished at all. Even if he might never again reach the amazing heights of his past, he is still among the world's top center backs. For this, there is no doubt. 8. Christian Romero Tenacious, clever, resolute, persistent, skilled, and unwavering. All of these terms are used to describe Christian Romero's style of play, yet they only reveal part of the tale. The World Cup champion has been appreciated by both Antonio Conte and Andrzej Postecoglou equally, which is saying something, considering the two managers are quite so different. Though Kudi is perceived as combative and front-footed, such attributes don't fully capture his superb game-reading, ball-handling skills, aerial supremacy, or leadership in the back line. We could have picked any Tottenham Titan for our list based on how he and Mickey van de Ven have begun the season. 7. Kim Min Jae Kim Min Jae will be remembered as one of the biggest business deals in European football history. Acquired by Napoli for 18 million euros from Fenerbahce, he succeeded the club legend Khalidou Koulibaly. At just a year, he became one of the greatest players in the planet at his position, winning the Scudetto and then walking away with a tidy 40 million euros profit. Bayern Munich has benefited greatly from Serie A's loss, and Kim is already the king of Bayern's defense. The South Korean is a calm leader off the ball and a dependable player with the ball. He is equally imposing and poised. He has also been far more consistent over the last 12 months than either Dayot Upamecano or Matthijs De Ligt. If Bayern are to reconquer Europe, he'll be pivotal to the tilt once more. 6. Josko Gvardiol The 21-year-old appears to have been cobbled together in a laboratory. Despite being left-footed, he is 6 feet 1 inch, incredibly skilled in one-on-one -on -one situations, and has very little angle bias while receiving and playing out. Then there's his ball-carrying ability. His driving runs with the ball are incredible, even though you can see that he has experience playing left-back. If the 2010s were defined defensively by the ball-playing centre-back trend that became the norm across the world, Gvardiol is the press-punishing poster boy of the next 10 years, skating through the thirds and into the future. He's one of the best in the world already. He will be the best before long. 5. Antonio Rudiger It's never easy to come into a Champions League winning squad and establish your dominance in centre defence. But Antonio Rudiger rose to the job with ease. Rudiger is a lightning-fast player who analyzes the game excellently and moves the ball forward with unwavering determination. On occasion, he has shown his flexibility by substituting at full-back to finish games. 
He is among the world's strongest defenders and has improved barely since leaving Stamford Bridge. It demonstrates his intelligence. 4. William Saliba William Saliba turned Arsenal from top four hopefuls to title contenders. When he got injured, they slipped from top spot. If that's not reason enough to see him as one of the best defenders on earth, do you know just how good you have to be for Jordan Ayew not to ask for a penalty against you after a last-ditch slide tackle? The 22-year-old Frenchman is an expert in all areas of the position of centre-back. It's entertaining to see him play an offside trap before pursuing a striker. Nevertheless, similarly to a predator playing with its prey because of his exceptional positioning and amazing speed. Saliba can cover a lot of ground, is good with the ball, and there's a reasonable argument that Mikel Arteta used him more than any other player to shape Arsenal into the team they are today. He is just going to become great. 3. David Alaba David Alaba is not only one of the best centre-backs in the world, He's one of the best left-backs, a good midfielder, a decent left-winger. Hell, give him some gloves and he'd probably keep a clean sheet, too. From the moment he substituted at Bayern to assist out during an injury crisis, the Austrian has been a constant in a backline that has helped Real Madrid win both La Liga and the Champions League. He is regarded as one of the world's top centre-backs. Alaba's ability to create opportunities for his teammates with his excellent passing range and calmness while initiating control under pressure at the back is truly impressive. He is not just a powerful goal threat, but also an excellent ball handler. 2. Ruben Dias It's possible that Ruben Dias is Pep Guardiola's best ever signing. When you take into account everyone, do you realize how absurd it is? While many of his signings have proven to be successful, not many have had such a profound impact on the team's mindset. Manchester City looked like a ghost of their former self defensively and allowed a hat-trick by Jamie Vardy the week before the Portuguese arrived. Ever since, the Premier League has been an exclusive league, with the Sky Blues converting this level into an almost weekly tournament in which players steal lunch money from one another. Furthermore, Diaz's caliber has not diminished. In his first season, he was named FWA Footballer of the Year, and he hasn't gotten any worse since. Diaz is everything that his manager stereotypically loves in a centre-back. He's cultured, cool in possession, and able to break lines at will. Yet he offers the kind of leadership and tenacity that go hand-in-hand -hand with serial success He's more than just a centre-back, which brings us nicely to 1. John Stones It goes beyond English bias. Over the past 12 months, John Stones has displayed performances that very few people, whether from the British Isles or elsewhere, could have ever envisioned from a modern centre-back. He is the ultimate leader of Guardiola Ball, a centre defender who is so attuned to the game and so exceptional at reading it that he is also able to compose it. From Guardiola's suggestion that Barnsley Beckenbauer might play in midfield to his fleeting obsession with using him at fullback, the Stones' role at City has been long in the making. The England international's transformation into an all-action, box-to-box defense in 2023 may have been a gradual development under Guardiola's system, but it's a position that only he could have filled under the Catalan. He's been the most unexpected member of a treble-winning team, at times, the most unplayable. And that's a side that contains Erling Blooming Haaland. This defender, who was formerly thought to be too light to compete effectively off the ball, has developed into a leader and a beast when not in control of the ball, while maintaining the delicacy and elegance of his play. Stones is a superb football player, in addition to being a fantastic center defender. He's the finest in the world right now, in our view. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.